today I show you the 5G settings for your Android phone and actually there are 4G settings also if you wanted to. Set, set the mobile data usage limits and see the usage for the apps and other settings for 5G and mobile internet. So my phone here is connected to the internet through the Wi-Fi now and I could see now the Wi-Fi is connected. There is Wi-Fi is connected but also there is the mobile data that it's also connected. But because the Wi-Fi is already connected and working, it will now show me here the 5G icon. So to see that, I will disable the Wi-Fi. And now you see the 5G icon. When you see this, this little icon here, it means the phone is connected through 5G and it's working. It gets internet from the mobile data and not from Wi-Fi. When you're at home, if you have a good Wi-Fi, you don't need to disable the 5G. I have it enabled, but if it happens that the Wi-Fi gets disconnected sometimes, it's better to disable the 5G completely, just in case. So if the internet, the Wi-Fi disconnects, then there is no internet on the phone, so it will not use internet from the mobile data. This is if you have a limit, if you have a data plan that we, that has a limit, so you don't your apps don't use the internet from the 5G without you knowing. But you will know if there is a, if it's using 5G internet, it has this little icon here on the top. When the Wi-Fi is not working, it's uh, it's on 5G there. To see the settings, to see more of the settings for the mobile data, you can go to the internet quick down quick settings menu, and then here on the on this connected to 5G, or it could be off completely actually. Uh, you can tap on it. The, this should show you actually more. So I would enable Wi-Fi and then you see the see all page and then you go to the internet page. But if the internet is off, it will not show you that. And I will show you how to get to that page directly from the settings. So now we are on the settings. Go into the network and internet. And here you have these different options. You can have the settings for internet first. And there is the Wi-Fi enabled, but now we are connected to 5G. And if I press on the gear icon, I will see here I can disable the mobile data on this SIM card. And I see the usage for this period. The mobile data is enabled. The roaming, I really suggest you have it disabled because roaming is expensive, especially for mobile data. You can set usage limits for the apps below. And for example, for this app here, Firefox, I I want to have background data, but I don't want to have unrestricted data usage because if there are if there, are, there is a limit for the data um, to slow it down, I want it to work like that and show it shows me here the total usage and whatever apps were included in this usage statistic. Going back further, so that's the usage the app usage and then you can have data warning and limit i really like to set this so you can have a data warning at i could uh, my i have five gigabytes of uh, member i have five gigabytes of mobile internet here it's a bit expensive there is no unlimited i mean there is unlimited for um, subscription plans expensive more expensive subscription plans will have unlimited internet but i have the option with five gigabytes so you can have set data warning and the data warning, you can enter this amount in gigabyte here or higher. And the options here are megabyte or gigabyte actually, so that's all. And then the set data limit, you can disable or enable this one. And I have this at 4.9. I put it like this just because I used a bit before I set this limit. I'm not sure if that's gonna work well. And then there is the mobile data cycle the mobile data cycle is the day of the month where this cycle is reset. So it's uh, the first of the month. I have it on the second of the month. So it should show somewhere here. It's first and first to 31st January. So this is the, the usage there. And I'm not sure if that's correct. I think it should be the second actually for me so let's set it let's set it now to the second 
you can have the 4G calling option. This usually is something you don't have to pay extra for this and it's a better quality for your mobile calls. I would have this on. The preferred network type here, you can, you can disable 5G if you wanted to by choosing the previous option and now it says 4G there. On the top, it doesn't say 5G anymore, it says 4G. And if I wanted to make it worse, I could change it to this, uh, the 3G, actually GSM. So H plus, it says there. Yeah, you wouldn't want to use these old uh, older network types. 5G, if the network is good, the phone will select automatically which network is um, available from the area where you are in and you select the network automatically this is the for the the operator network you could do this when you are in roaming you can actually disable this and select a network manually so here if you are in roaming you can select the network manually i will select the sita sita is connected so it's 5g still connected there and and now I'm connected manually to this network, but because I'm not in roaming, I don't really need to do this. And you will not be able to connect to other networks if you have a if you have a, a mobile in, mobile phone number from one network, you can't connect to the other network when you're at home. But when you're abroad in roaming, it doesn't matter which. Uh, maybe it does matter which uh, provider you use. Some might have a better network or a better deal with your home network provider. I will choose it to automatically select the network for sure. And access point names, usually you don't need to change anything here. They are all, always the same. And allow 2G, this is if you want to allow to connect. And this is not as secure as the 4G and 5G. If there is a weak signal for the mobile, if you are in a rural area, for some remote areas in the mountains even, this might work while the other ones don't work. So basically these are the mobile, mobile internet settings. And there is also the setting to enable the Wi-Fi automatically when you are nearby places that are uh, saved. For high quality, uh, high quality saved networks like your home network. So if you have Wi-Fi by this, if you have Wi-Fi disabled by mistake, it will use the Wi-Fi there. I will enable this. You can choose the, uh, you can choose the network types which uh, Wi-Fi networks you have saved, and then you can also choose the Wi-Fi usage for your phone to see how much internet you're been using on the Wi-Fi, and this is. Uh, Linear, linear, linear usage. So it's not much of a big difference in one day or another day. Going back to the network and internet tab here, you can choose the the calls and SMS SIM card. If you had multiple, if you have multiple SIM cards, uh, eSIM. If you have an eSIM, you can choose the. Okay, I will enable the Wi-Fi. So on internet here, I'll go and re-enable the Wi-Fi so it's back connected to Wi-Fi. And in the SIM, SIM cards option here, for the calls and SMS, you have the option to choose a default network card. You can use the physical SIM or eSIM. I only have one now. From the SIMs here, you can have the physical SIM and the eSIM, which is inactive for me now. And I could add a SIM. I could add an eSIM actually, or transfer a SIM from another device. You can just move the SIM SIM card from the phone. But with the eSIM, I believe it's a bit more difficult because you have to transfer it through the network. It's always good to have the physical SIM, especially when you're traveling and you don't have internet. Then it's more convenient, I believe. It's very easy to get the eSIM. So when you're traveling, actually, it's a great idea to get an eSIM from the place where you go to. So when you arrive there, you already have a local number and the mobile internet, everything set up. Airplane mode will disable the radio for, for the, um, the mobile data, but I believe it keeps the Wi-Fi on. Yeah, this one also disables the Wi-Fi, but I can enable Wi-Fi with airplane mode. 
So that's how, because some places, usually now in planes you have, you have um, Wi-Fi, so that's why they allow you to use Wi-Fi. And now I have airplane mode off and it's all connected. Hotspot and tethering, I can have a public hotspot and it will use the mobile data 5G to get the internet and it will share it through the public hotspot. And this is the, the option here. I can see more settings here for the public hotspot. I have another video for that, for all the settings for the hotspot. And um, let's disable the public hotspot. I don't need it. You set a password to it, so it's not public actually. Data saver, it's a, a nice option to restrict data usage for the for some apps. Here you can restrict the data usage for some apps and you can from here select the apps. From here you can select the apps and for example for Amazon shopping <laughs> I could uh, set it unrestricted but I wouldn't want to do that. And basically here you have a data saver mode and then you can choose which apps can run unrestricted. This is, uh, I don't have it, I don't know, maybe I should enable this one. Let me know in the comments below if that's a good option to enable. And the VPN, you can choose a VPN, you can choose a private DNS. Auto data SIM switching, automatically switch default data SIM. And it shows me this error because I don't have two SIMs enabled. So it will set automatically the most suitable SIM card. I don't know if this is a good option if one sim becomes slow maybe if you have from the same same country not when you're in roaming this is this is better for uh, if you have different areas and uh, one network covers another net uh, an area better than another one smart connectivity automatically select the best network okay when use mobile network when wi-fi is poor i don't want to do that Prevent auto connection to poor Wi-Fi. I don't want to do that. So if there is some kind of Wi-Fi, I would prefer to use it instead of not using it at all. So these are really the most most important settings. And the the most you will use here is the Wi-Fi. You connect to a network, you add a network, and you either enter the SSID or you scan the QR code of the network to to open it to get to connect to the Wi-Fi. And the 5G settings are um, the 5G settings are mostly about limits and setting the mobile limits for the whole phone and setting limits for the apps. Seeing the usage of the app, so you can disable completely the mobile data for a app if it's using too much, and the restriction for the apps and also the roaming. You want to check that you have the roaming disabled before you go somewhere, and also to switch from 5G to the all the generator gener to the or, or to switch from 5G to the older generation networks that's it thanks for watching